position here, there I'm back. Sorry sir, you, you have to move from that hand. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you.
award for postgraduate degrees. Let me welcome in a very, very special way our dear friend and guest of honor, His Royal Eminence, Dr. Ramon Adigori Atobatele Adigori. I'm not introducing him now. We are from the person we come to introduce him and only recognizing his presence. It is the mayor, your man, Chancellor Ududua University, the lady there. Chancellor, our Saviors University in Delaware, America. Chancellor, Citizens University of Ghana. These are all the private universities. Preparation of various polytechnics in Nigeria and many other parts of the world. Mr. Chancellor Odebri, when he invited us to your university in India a few months ago, and we were taken to your polytechnic guest house in Lagos, I couldn't believe those imposing structures were on an ordinary polytechnic campus. But it was like an American speaking to my ears. He said, You ain't seeing anything yet. Wait until you get to Ife and see this university. The Odutwa University campus in Ife looks to be like a federal university. Congratulations. I was more impressed when you yourself were dressed with your decency regalia. Led us from one day to theater, I am not saying lecture room, lecture theater, almost as big as this From one day to theater to another, introducing us under the hot morning sun. This was a great sign of friendship, and I want to appreciate your point. You concretize this friendship by hosting us to a very sumptuous lunch in your palace, Ife City. We thank you so much. And your hotel also in Ife offered great hospitality. I trust that you will enjoy our very meager facilities here at the University of Washington. As I've already told you, the University of Makini is the first private university in Sierra Leone. And now, and now one of the leading universities in this country. Your presence here today. Your presence here today commences the operationalization of the Memorandum of Understanding which we signed with your university in your very presence. We, on our part of the cinema, will do everything to implement the process in that memorandum. I hear that your wife's cruise on the seaboard boat across the lagoon was her first experience at sea. But joyfully away she was. And I met her and I walked her upstairs. I thought she was doing it. She said, oh, you put me inside this boat, but she didn't say that. I said, oh, this is a good. I want us to give her a try. It's very pretty. Why the first time she up for the day was so scared, it was making fun. The lady was sitting down front to get me. We went for her. You know, that bravery is a sign of friendship. To say, wherever you pass up the is, I will go. And here, we want to work with you. I've already mentioned that the Nigerian ambassador is on his way. He has passed on that. He will join us here at the time. But well, he has been very good for us, to us. He sent his team to the airport to receive our guests. And uh, before we came to Makeni yesterday, the chief visited him in his office and he formally awaited us. 
Bishop of the Diocese of Makili, the Chancellor and members of our University's Council, our distinguished guest, the Chancellor, founder of the Dodi University, and the mayor of the Balan, Chairperson and Commissioners of the Tasha Education Commission, the Chancellors of the Sister University, Chancellors and Principals of the Universities, Sierra Leone, Uganda University, and the Anishbaik Oma University, Science and Technology, Registrar and other Registrars of Sister University, Deans of Faculty, Heads of Department, Mayor of the Municipality of Bikini, Power Chiefs of Makari Kanti and Gomba Nisewara Chito, and all other traditional rulers present here with us, priests and imams, members of the academic and administrative staff, alumni, graduates and parents, members of the press, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me join the pro Chancellor in welcoming you all to our congregation ceremony for the award of postgraduate degrees. A special welcome to our Chancellor, the Bishop of the Diocese of Makin, Bishop Natalio Paganel, for taking his time to be with us and grace this occasion. We are grateful for your continual support. Let me also join the Pro Chancellor in welcoming our special guest. Prince Dr. Ramon Adoke Atubatale Adoyin, the Chancellor, a distinguished educationist and founder of the Udua University and other universities in Nigeria, and the Mayor of the Yoruba people. We are indeed honored to have you and to learn and share from your wealth of experience. Indeed, we are happy to note that your wife, Yeye Maye, is accompanying you and is the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the University. Our two countries, Sierra Leone and Nigeria, we have a long history of collaboration and working for peace and shared prosperity. No one forgets the role played by Nigeria during the Civil War and its support in helping us in post-conflict Sierra Leone. Allow me also to salute the Nigerian High Commissioner whose presence to grace this occasion is significant. Mr. Chancellor Sir, this second congregation of the year is taking place as we celebrate our 10th anniversary as an accredited institution. It is against this background that we present 84 candidates for the award of postgraduate degrees from the various disciplines, Masters in Sustainable Development with concentrations in Economic, Social and Environmental Sustainability, the MBA in Global Impact Entrepreneurship, and the MBA in Finance. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the goal of our postgraduate school is to ensure that Unimark Research is recognized for its excellence and impact and that it delivers substantial benefits to national and global sustainable development and to Unimark's mission and priorities. Thus, the postgraduate school aims to provide an academic research environment that generates verifiable data to fill gaps in knowledge, test theory, and to inform evidence-based policy and decision-making in Sierra Leone and beyond. And also build scholars' capacity to conduct and communicate academic research. Well, this is in consonant with African Union's Continental Education Strategy for Africa which highlights the need for education that meets the knowledge, competences, skills, innovation, and creativity required to nurture African core values and promote sustainable development 
at the national, sub-regional, and continental level. Raising engaged citizens who can contribute to sustainable development in diverse ways requires academic innovation by designing and revising programs that keep abreast of global and national trends. Thus, we launched the first postgraduate program, the Masters in Sustainable Development, in 2010 to tackle sustainability, sustainable development, and the environment school in development. At, the, at that same time, the post-2015 development agenda was still unclear. The sustainable development goals emerged later. Reflecting the goal to nurture job creators, Unimark's second and third postgraduate programs, the Global MBA in Impact Entrepreneurship, and the Masters in Finance were launched. Our MBA Entrepreneurship does not teach entrepreneurship, but we train entrepreneurs. The MBA is built around participants' business ideas to which they apply the knowledge and tools they learn during the program to successfully launch a new and impactful business venture. The MBA Finance aims at training a new group of graduates that will combine management and financial skills, competences and knowledge to bring about transformation in our corporate and financial world. And today we are honored that our guest speaker is a distinguished entrepreneur. Academic innovation for the 21st century at Unimark and beyond depends on the depth of understanding of education itself. Therefore, to develop this, a master's in education is among Unimark's most recent postgraduate programs. Mr. Chancellor Sir, all our postgraduate programs are fully aligned with the Agenda 2030 of Achieving Sustainable Development Goals. They are fully aligned with Agenda 2063. And above all, Sierra Leone's medium-term national development plan, Dog Education for Development. Indeed, we aim at education that will lead to development and transformation. Sierra Leone's National Development Plan prioritizes human capital as the key to development. And the plan puts it very well in affirming that human capital development should aim at generating a critical mass of highly educated, trained, and skilled Sierra Leoneans with the capacity to undertake research and development, pursue innovation and learning, start productive businesses, and run sound industries and deliver better leadership and services in the public sector. This is what we are trying our best at Unimark, to be informed by this vision and design a curriculum for postgraduate programs and indeed all our programs. Mr. Chancellor Sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are fully aware of the reality of our country and the challenges and opportunities that we have. Sierra Leone, with a population of 7 million people, has an average growth rate of 3.2 percent. Two thirds of the population of Sierra Leone are identified as multidimensionally poor, with poverty levels in the rural areas as high as 72.4 percent. The economy is diversified, and our external debt is over 1.5 billion dollars. But also, this is a country with tremendous opportunities, a demographic bulge in Africa. In 2050, Africa will have a population of over 2 billion, and Sierra Leone at its annual growth rate will have a population of around 11 million by 2030. We are richly blessed with land, water, and forest. Above all, we speak English as a medium for official communication. We are a religiously tolerant nation. We are geographically well positioned. And above all, we are a resilient people. It is against this background that we must design new programs, curriculum, and shape the ethos and culture that should be embedded in the man. And so we have submitted new programs to the Tertiary Education Commission for approval. 
master's program ranging from law to human resource management, and finally to fill the critical gap of research and build our human resource capacity for the team, start our doctoral programs. We know we are ambitious, but we are not afraid to dream, to show our heart. We have challenges, ranging from the need for more lecture halls, a postgraduate building, the list is long. But we we'll meet these challenges with your support, Mr. Chancellor Sir. With the support and the commitment of our staff, the support of our partners and friends, and above all, with the commitment of our graduates, who will be our alumni. And so let me take this opportunity to congratulate our dear graduates. After this intensive period of hard work and sweat, we take pride in your success. As you leave us today for more commitment, take responsibility for the reality we live in. Be responsible for transforming our country so that our people can live better lives. Let us make a positive impact in our country and in our world. Do not forget your alma mater. Contribute in building it. Mr. Chancellor, sir, let me use this academic platform to appeal to all Sierra Leoneans let us build our country. Let us give our students, these graduates, these young ones, the opportunity to enjoy peace, social cohesion, and shared prosperity. Let us build a civilization of love in our country, Africa, and the, and the whole world. Let me finally take this opportunity to thank members of the Council, our Academic Senate, the Board of Graduate Studies, our administrative and academic staff, and all who have supported our students in reaching this stage in their lives. May God bless us. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, Vice Chair, Pro Chancellor, Chancellor of the Ministry of University and Registrar here present, Honorable Minister of Technical and Higher Education, who is representing here present, Chairman, members, and staff. Saturday Education Commission, Cabinet Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, Our Worship, Mayor of Mackay Municipality, Parliament Chiefs and Traditional Leaders, Priests, Religious and Imams, Deans, HODs, Administrative and other staff of the University of Mackay, Graduates, Distinguished guests, our dear students of the University of Peking. It's a pleasure and delight for me to introduce to you the guest speaker of this August gathering, the University of Peking 2018 2019 academic year postgraduate convocation ceremony. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished guests, our guest speaker was born on a unique date. 1st of January 1997, into four ruling houses in Ile Ife, Yoruba land. Our guest speaker is a distinguished educationist and a businessman. He attended Ansa Islamic Primary School in Ile Ife from 1961 to 1969, he attended the Buduwa College in Ile Ife 1971 to 1975, and Muslim Grammar School in Dijon, Ibadan. And the University of Cuba that now, far from me, Ogoli University. We are graduated in 1982-83 sessions with an honors degree in mathematics education. Our guest speaker has a master's and doctorate degree in mathematics and education from All Saints University, a doctor of philosophy in education from Central University. Our guest speaker is also honored with a professional chair of Victoria University and a fellow of many professional bodies and is a member of the American Association of University Professors. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished guests, our guest speaker is the proprietor and chancellor of the following universities and polytechnics. Duduwa University in Nigeria, the Polytechnic Quebec, our serious University of America in the United States, the Nick Citizens University College in Ghana, 
Chancellor, distinguished guests, our guest speaker is also a business guy. He has created and owned a chain of businesses across the world. Among these are our Savior Tours and Business Company of America in New York, USA, our Savior University Properties, USA, Ray Power Gas Limited, Lagos, FM Bank Limited, and BTA Foundation. Chancellor, distinguished guests, our guest speaker with today's year with us is vast and excellent track record in academia and job creation in business and entrepreneurship. Today, we will see how we utilize academic qualifications to create jobs around the world rather than looking for jobs. This message today is very relevant to this August gathering of scholars and academics in search of knowledge, skills, methods, and strategies to address social economic problems facing our country and the world at large. This message will touch our hearts and minds to utilize our academic knowledge and skills to create jobs in Sierra Leone and around the world. Please lend me your ear. Mr. Chancellor, distinguished guests, it's my pleasure to present to you our guest speaker for today, His Royal Eminence, Dr. Professor Ramon Adedoki Atobatale Adedoni. Education and achieving a sustainable development goal. The topic has been well chosen and uh, it's been carried with uh, the program of today because it's about uh, a postgraduate uh, graduation ceremony. The theme of this convocation ceremony was graduate education and achieving the sustainable development goal is current and hot today when our focus is placed on the issue of the structure of systems across the globe, particularly in Africa. Uh, you will realize that uh, for many, many years we, we were not uh, talking of the internet, we were not talking about the e-learning, but today things are changing. So if you have got your master's degree or a doctorate degree, and without the concept of e-learning, then you have not got a good education. The world is going on, going in. E-learning, everything is about the internet. The where it is most obligatory for stakeholders in every sector of the economy to review policies and strategies that have hampered development for many years now. You can see that uh, if you ask your daughter to go and marry somebody in Nigeria, it's not a big deal now. Your daughter can marry somebody in Germany, in anywhere in Makeda, because the internet is there, the phone is very flexible now. You just pick your phone, within one second, you have pick your uh, relative, wherever they may be. So the world has changed, has changed, and that is why we must be together, and that is why we are internationalizing our university, and I believe that the University of Makeda it's also doing a similar thing. According to the World Commission on Environment and Development, sustainable development is a development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future generations to meet their own needs. Education has been a means of transmitting one's culture from one generation to another. With the television now, with your internet, with your Twitter, with all these things, with YouTube, I mean, what are you talking about? Your culture here can be well known somewhere else all over the world. That is where we are now. We are we have those golden days. It is the process of bringing about a relatively permanent change in human behavior. As the oldest industry, it is the main instrument used by society to preserve, maintain, and upgrade its social equilibrium. A society the first library on the quality of the citizen's education. Education is so important that uh, uh, if you don't give education to your son, your children, your daughter, and so on, then I mean, it's as good as being a dead person. Education is the best legacy you can give to your child. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use. Change the world. If 
to give education to even a dog. A dog can fly an airplane. That was said by Ali. So you cannot compare education with any other thing all over the world. And maybe that is why I'm into the business of education. I am presenting the only Nigeria out of a population of about 200 million that has uh, three universities and two politicians. Achieving sustainability, public awareness, which is a mark of quality education, and training is a key in human society towards sustainability through eating together and achieve distinguished between education and sustainable development, and education for sustainable development. While the former is an awareness person, the latter is a tool to achieve sustainability. The awareness concept is important, but the tool to achieve sustainability is most important. And education that is worth its name is supposed to equip men with the necessary tools for sustainability. That is, when you have a good education, you can become anything in the world. When you have a good education, nothing is too important to you, nothing is too small. The world is as full as in my hand when you have a good education. That has to do with sustainability. Every nation of society, regardless of its size, has an education system which it proposes for the general interest of all. No education system is ever established without the intent of building human capacity for the societal development for the present and future generations. One essential purpose of education is to produce quality manpower that will engage with various sections of the society in life, politically, socially, and economically, morally. Education, therefore, plays a significant role in achieving quality and robust leadership. Most of the various studies in Africa can be well positioned to address specific developmental issues through adequate support for creativity, research, and development. Colonial education in Africa. Uh, this one, I'm sure too many white people are not here today because uh, I'm going to explain a little bit that uh, they brought their education, they brought their religion, and when they brought their own religion, Africans have their religion. We know how we talk to God. I'm sure you know that. But when they came, they taught us the Islamic uh, religion, they taught us. Uh, about uh, uh, Christian, Christianity and a lot of that. But when they brought this, they also brought the religion like the side. So, and they are taking your own religion away from you. They are giving you work. They are giving you education. So, when you see them giving you that education, you believe that what they are doing is the best. And so, I'm sorry, Kisho, they did not allow us. They did not allow us to develop our own uh, traditional religion. And gradually, our traditional religion is doing what? It's just going down. While the Islamic and the uh, Christianity is just uh, uh, jumping up every day. Because they knew, they knew what they were doing. They were giving us education. Education is very, very important. Isn't it? Very, very important. At the same time, they are telling you, don't go and worship that river. Don't go and worship uh, that river. And so on. Maybe if we can worship the river very well, and then we are also carrying our own uh, concept of divine. We are carrying it to the United Kingdom, the United States, Germany, and so on. Maybe they will also be worshiping uh, that type of uh, our own traditional religion. <laughs> 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 they are all the <laughs> So we are welcome to it. Uh, the United Nations report on education for all in the year 2000 showed that the United Arab Emirates have made great progress in basic education and are getting close to the United Nations state targets because they are convinced that education is the main trust for sustained human development. This report at the next 2008 clearly states that no development can be possible without human 
And humans cannot reach the development without quality education. Many you know that they uh, have good education and therefore they have quality human beings. The quality of education that can produce sustainable human development as pointed out to the United Arab Emirates cannot be realized without committed leadership. The strength of the nation is not measured by the nation's quantum of the natural resources of its military might, but its crop of manpower produced by plant funded and staff equipment. That is, if you have the whole uh, army of the world in uh, Makedi, in uh, Sierra Leone, it is not enough and it is not comparable to education because education is uh, so important. I have uh, almost a book here, but uh, the time will not permit me to at least read and uh, give you the total lecture on the whole uh, book which I have produced, which I really want to do. So I will be going to the concluding part of uh, uh, my presentation. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude this address, I wish to pray me for a major concerted effort, nationally, regionally, and internationally, to expand and ensure adequate financial support for postgraduate education in Africa. To ensure that they will give full finance to postgraduate education. All over the world, the minimum requirement for lecturing in any university is a doctorate degree. You must have a PhD before you can lecture in any standard university. But uh, where are the PhD holders? Where are they? I mean, in any university, if you have a population of 1,000, you can hardly get uh, 50 PhD holders. So, postgraduate education cannot be overemphasized. This stands out as one of the biggest challenges facing higher education in the continent. So, I challenge you, you are just doing your master's or whatever, I challenge you to go for a PhD. I'm sorry to say that you are not yet relevant until when you have got there and you need a PhD. Our university, in the Uwa University, we have a, a doctorate degree program. So if it is relevant to your program, I want to give you one gift today. Mr. Chancellor, I want to donate something to you. One, one of the things I'm going to donate is uh, anybody who is coming from the University of Bakendi to go to come and do that you present to us. To come and do a program is going to do it for free. We charge uh, about one million naira. You can convert one million naira to uh, Sierra Leone money. Yeah. You can convert it to that and see what uh, the can give it to you. I also know the proprietor of the universities. I also know what you need. I am also promising your university staff. I am also promising you equipment, which we are going to bring to you. So the actual program that we have done with the University of Makedi is that students from the University of Makedi can come and spend a semester in Nigeria. We will give them accommodation fee, we will give them a school fees, nothing like that, and then we make sure that they are comfortable and secure by the special visitors. And the University of Makede School has already promised us, I'm sure you are going to put in it, that uh, our students there can also come, their selected students, can also come to the University of Makede and live comfortably and write a semester exam out of their eight semesters in the as we proceed in this week academic discourse, I sincerely wish you a successful and also productive convocation.
thanks for your attention. Thank you. Tested in me, I admit them into the Master of Arts in Sustainable Development. Michael Alex Ponce, Gabriel Sampa Ponce, Mamadi Mamadu Asmiu Jalo. Mohamed Yaya Jalo, Mohamed Alpha Jalo, Swab Kabia, Mohamed Mamadi Kaba, Alimami Kulifa Kamara, Aisata M. Kamara, Patrick Make Kamara, Ali Baba Johannes Kamara Mohamed Patrick Kamara Abdul Klebasi Kanu Mofilia Lanzi Kago Paul Abu Kago Robert Robinson Kago Michael Faya Samba Kata Sia Kenewa Augusta Adama Kuruma Mary Kuruma Usman Kuruma Thomas Moriba Mami Steven Bokari Mansare, Aisatu Mansare, Valerie Nafisatu Hafsatu Mansare, Idris Gibson Mansare, Henrietta Mamayun Mina, Abdullah Sako, Hassan Alaji Sise, Ibrahim Ture, Sir Emmanuel Yamasu. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you a candidate as listed in the program whom I certify to receive the degree of Master of Arts in Sustainable Development and I stand as professor. By the powers vested in me, I admit him into the Master of Arts in Sustainable Development in Absence. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you candidates as listed in the program whom I certify as worthy to receive the degree of Master's in Business Administration Finance. I admit them into the Master of Business Administration in Finance. Albert Danisin Boima. Ahmed Lama Bundu. John Ayokani. Elizabeth Marie Conte, Fenty Bubu Conte, Pude Black, A 
Abu Bakar Jalo. Isat Kabia. John K. Kamara. Idrissa Sahid Kamara. Molai Kamara. Christian Kamara. Ali Kopsin Kamara. Frederick Komba Komba. Ashatu Abdullahi Kuruma. Jajwa Jason Momoho. Mr. Chancellor. Through Vice Chancellor and Chairman of the Government Council, Vice Chancellor and Registrar of our sister university, Your Eminence and Erudite Guest Speaker, Dean of Faculty, Heads of Department of the University of Makini, and our sister university, my colleague graduates, invited guests, other distinguished personalities, all protocol observed. I wish to appreciate all of you for this wonderful and splendid congregation. Specifically, I want to thank and appreciate our Vice Chancellor, the Reverend Father Professor Joseph Almami Ture, and your staff for your untiring effort in making this occasion subject. I will be remiss in my duty if I fail to acknowledge the personalities who have worked relentlessly behind the scenes to enhance the image of this university. I must here name the Bishop of the Diocese of Makini, His Worship Natalio Paganelli, the Pro Chancellor, SCP Professor Pamanja, the Dean of Postgraduate Studies, Professor Bob Karanke Conte, the Registrar and Director of Studies, Reverend Father Sedu Sise, and the Infactable Madam Veronica Kamara, popularly known as the Child. At this point, please permit me to turn my attention to our guest speaker. His Royal Eminence, Professor Adeyoni. Sir, I must applaud you for your wonderful achievements. When I first read your profile and all your achievements, I was a little confused. I thought you are an alien from outer space. But having had the introduction from Loyalio and from Loyajalo and having listened to you, I am now convinced that indeed you are human. <laughs> Sir, your achievements are exemplary. I believe I'm speaking for my colleagues when I say congratulations, sir. For these wonderful achievements, we are highly grateful and honored to have you as our guest speaker. And your message will resonate with us. Long time to come. Thank you. Thank you for leaving all your busy schedule to be with us this afternoon. We will never forget you. We however pray that the relationship that has been forged between your university and the University of Martin will prosper. We however, my final thanks go to all those in their diverse ways who have contributed in making this occasion possible. To the academy, administrative, support staff, and technical personnel. 
I say thank you very much. We will never forget you. In Italia, we say gracia. In Danish, we say ta. In French, we say merci. Thank you, Unimap, for giving me this opportunity. And in Temne, we say Momo. In Limba, we say Wale. And the rest. Thank you very much for listening to me. Tell me in a very open way to be to take this opportunity to congratulate our newly graduate sisters and brothers. It's not an official speech, speech not. But before, I want to thank our guest of honor, his royal eminence, Dr. Ramon. This is better than me. Ramon is very important. For your presence, for your generosity, the students who have spoken a few minutes ago underlined your curriculum. Myself, allow me to underline something you see. You are going around the world with your wife. Thank you for being good example. Thank you so much. for all of us to be faithful to what we have promised before the mighty God. And that your example is a good example for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you for your generosity. You have offered us a lot. I hope we can one day also offer something to you to your university. You offer a scholarship for a doctorate. Probably you have to go there because I don't look after the race. I don't look after it. <laughs> but sure, I will send somebody who really deserves this test of generosity. Very soon we will write and we may start doing a great exercise. Thank you very much. We thank you very much for your presence. We appreciate it. It's good to establish this relationship among the universities. We do, we are trying to connect our universities with different universities around the world. Because now we are living in a global age. We cannot think, we can do everything by ourselves. Thank you very much. Of course, thank you very much, Thank you, Michelle, for coming among us, representing the government. To you, my dear newly graduated in master's degree and diploma, I wish you the best in your future. But allow me to tell you, to have a master's degree paper is not enough. Our guest of honor suggested you to go to PhD. It's fine. But myself, I also I invite you to put in practice your religious values in your life. Because if we have a very high academic preparation, but we have not a good values who are helping us to challenge our life, we cannot be a better society. I read a message for you, it's already in the booklet, I do not want to read this. Please consider what I wrote for you. All of us, we are called to cooperate, to do our best to be a better society. To keep the environment among us in a decent way. Allow me to tell and I will finish. Do not forget the poor in your life. The poor need your support. And if you 
help the needy people. God will help you. God will bless you. God will reward you abundantly. I wish you the best and I pray, Papa God, to help me, you to be women and men of good will. Women and men who are real, real, building a better society. God bless you all.